themselves, they created it. You are where you are because of the character that you have. Write it down. All the points that I'm writing, that I'm speaking, I'm not going to do a lot of preaching. You are where you are by the character that you have. Your character shapes who you are or it shapes your destiny. It shapes your destiny. Your destination in life is as a result of who you are. And there are many people that are hindered today that cannot go anywhere that are in financial frustrations. Not that uh, God has not blessed them. The problem that they have is the character to hold the blessing. Even if when God blesses you today, if you have got no act or the character of keeping that which God has released, you still end up losing miracles. So even when we have received miracles, even when we have received from the Lord, be involved in a car accident. There are many of you, you are struggling in life is because you have not reached a level of building up your character. And the book of Jude, chapter 20, the Bible says, Beloved, building up yourself, building up yourself, building up yourself 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 empowerment is a personal obligation write it Empowerment is a personal obligation. What I mean is that I cannot breathe on your behalf. I can't breathe on your behalf. You breathe for yourself for you to leave. Which means that building is personal. No one will build marriage for you until you take a step of building character to build that which you want to see in your marriage, in your business, in your ministry. So the Bible says building up yourself in the most inner faith by speaking in tongues. So God does not do everything, right? God does not do everything God does not do everything even in ministry God will not do everything for you God will not take you to the toilet God will not take you to the restaurant so that you can eat it is common sense when you are angry to look for food. It is common sense when you are angry to look for food. So, this commandment, it will continue to remain in you. Now, we are talking about building your character. Now, I mentioned, I said, there is no one on the face of the earth. Even those that you see that are murderers, when they were born, they were born with good characters. They were born with perfect characters. 
But as they were growing, they were exposed to things, to different environments. And because of the environment, the environment plays a major role in adding up to the character of a person. There are most of you, you are heartless. Not that you decided to be heartless. It's because of an environment that you are raised up. You are failing to forgive. It's because of an environment that you are raised up. And that environment has built up a solid character in you. You must understand that character is built. You build it, but how do you build it? How do you build character? Everyone who started stealing, they did not, and from the, the it is So character can be spread because of an environment that is contagious. Character is like chicken pox. And that's the reason in my whole entire ministry, I keep people far away who have bad character. Because it can spread like wildfire. You must be able to look at your environment. The kind of people you are dealing with. Are they positive? Are they negative? How is their level of thinking? There are people, when you meet them, all what they think is to own a taxi. It's not bad. But that is a sign that you are next online to buy a taxi. I repeat again. When you mingle around with people that every time they are shallow in their thinking, they only talk about a taxi. Their dreams is to buy a taxi. And every time when you meet them, you always just talk about a taxi. You are the next to buy a taxi. And if you have people every time who always talk about big stuff, one day I see myself having my own mind, having my own private jet, having my own businesses, the character is imparted in you. That's the reason in my whole entire life, the first thing, if I must go with you, you and me must have one character. I will never go with you. If I see that your character is different from me, I will never. So character can be spread. It can be imparted. The same way we were imparted by the character of Jesus Christ is the same way when you mingle around with somebody who insults every time, you are next. Even if when you don't want. Even if when you don't want. You mingle around with lazy people. Even you. You'll be lazy. Yeah, most of you, you don't want to work because somebody played a major role in imparting you. There was an impartation of laziness. Tell neighbor. Tell neighbor. Tell neighbor. Even you, even you loving to eat, someone imparted you. Do 
Do you think you just develop that appetite just like that? Huh? Somewhere, somewhere, you were taken out. You were mingling around with people that are eaters, consumers. And now you saw that eating is good. Now you say, okay, now I'm going to exercise. Impartation. Laziness can be imparted. That's the reason the Bible says, he that does not work, let him not eat. It, 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 look, the Bible is not talking about, uh, uh, look, the Bible says, he that does not work, let him not eat. That's not, that's not what the Bible is meaning. The Bible says, he that does not work, let him die. Because if you don't work, in another way, you will not eat. And at the end of it, you what? You will die. Most of you, the reason why you are so lazy in life, when you just wake up early in the morning, you are on television. You were imparted by your mother, by your father. You saw some certain things. You were exposed to some certain things and you think they are right. For example, let me give myself as an example. If you compare with how I was raised up and with how I am today, it's totally different. Totally different. Very different. Environment different. Character different. Even the way your house looks like, if you are not careful, look at the house of your father. The way it was looking like. You come to discover, you got the i I'll show you this example. He has influenced you with his character. Character. It can be imparted. Amen. That's the reason Peter said, silver and God I don't have, but such as I have. What? My character, my character, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Number four, character can be destroyed. If it was created, then we can destroy it. Character. can be destroyed. That's a reason. Even for you, look, look. Do you know why you struggle to come to church? You have a bad character. Your father himself was not going to church. Your mother, she was going to the Sangoma, that was a church. And there was a transfer of what? Character. From one generation to another generation. And you, you want to be coming early to church. Yet your mother, she was going late. Impartation of character. Your father was a thief. He was not tithing. You, you want to tithe. Like a father, like a son. Like a daughter, like a mother. How? Why do we say like daughter, like mother? Because the same way the mother looks like the daughter, she has taken the features. That's the reason some of you is very hard to tithe. Because your father did not, not even one. He has never tithed before. So you inherited from him. That's the reason you, you are not even afraid to eat even the money. You are not even afraid to eat the money that belongs to God. You are, you are not afraid. You will go by Nando's eating tithe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while you are eating, you say, oh, this man is very good. God, you must bring next. Character. Tell about character. So character can be destroyed. What I mean is that there was nobody who was born with good or bad character. Everyone was born neutral. 
you were born as an empty teen. The way you look at life is because of somebody who plays a major role to impart that mentality in you. It's either your mother or your father. When you are growing up, the way you behave exactly will be able to see your father in you. Even your feet, your foot looks like your father. Even your hairstyle, even your laughing, even your walk, huh? character was imparted. So, God wants us to reach a level where we must be selective. We must be what? Selective. That's the reason, Pastor, you will never see me mingle around with some men of God. Not that I don't want to mingle around with them. Know that I don't want to mingle around with them. I might be late, but I know my time is coming, I'll be latest. It might take time to build my character, to build everything that I want to do, but in time appointed, what I'm building will stand. Look, never build your life on fake character. There are most of you, you have a plastic character. Tell me about plastic. You want to become what you are not. Right. Becoming what you are not is costly. <laughs> Don't be what you are not. You know, if, if I entered ministry where I was not a prophet, by this time I would have gone to the village to farm. I would have been the first one. Fake character is not who you are. The character that you have is a borrowed character. It's a borrowed one, not you. It's a borrowed character. Growing up, you are not like this. You grew up as a, a very calm person, but how come you are and now emptiness and prospering. And he that is genuine is regarded fake. And he that is not genuine is regarded genuine. Borrowed character. Everyone is a prophet. Even those that were not prophesying. Now, they have changed from pastor to prophet. Prophet Siadumisa. I'm telling you. Huh? It's a name. Don't quote me wrong. I just mentioned the name of a person. Huh? If you can prophesy. Ah. Jesus, thank you. Miracle money. Look. I just touched it here. Miracle money. <laughs> I know someone can attack me after this service. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you are not a prophet, let me tell you, I've been in the prophetic ministry this year now is 26 years. 26. 
And I'm not telling you just by the 26 days that I've walked with God. I'm telling you by the power of the anointing what is happening. It is very costly to take a title and you can't deliver. Right? It's costly to have a title without power. Title without power makes you to become a tortoise. There are too many tortoises that are crawling. Crawling. Because they carried a big name. Archbishop, senior most, Leverand, Chaco Bishop. And when you hear the name, just the name itself, Arch. You think it's God himself. But let's bring a person here. Ha, ah, what he ministers. Ah. He can't deliver anything. This is a problem. Character shows who you are. And character has a name. That's the reason most of the time is so much devastate it devastates me so much and it makes me feel very bad to see somebody on the stage and is introducing me. Oh, this is prophet so so and so so. He has ever done this. No, he conquered this. I feel like just lapping that person. Yes. I feel very bad to introduce me. That's the reason most of the time you will see me as we are in the church. I will just tell you, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I don't love introduction. I don't love people when I enter a place. I don't, I don't love when I... I'm a prophet. I have the spirit of a prophet that moves with me. When I come close to you, when I look at you, you are able to know something inside you will tell you that this man is, there's just something strange about him. And you will feel inside you, you will feel unworthy to even stand before the God of this man. That's what makes people to kneel down. Not that somebody is forcing them, he's saying, you know, when, when this man comes down, uh, comes here, you must kneel down. It is the leverage of the character of the prophet. Whenever you see somebody that is very anointed, your spirit bears witness that this one is different. That's the reason you see me sometimes when I, when I come here, you want to kneel down, I tell you, stand up. You want to kneel down, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Because it's, it's, it's my character. Don't carry a title. Don't be a general manager that is causing uh, losses in the company. <laughs> there are too many general managers by title. But they can't deliver. They are costing the company. The company is making losses. And at the end of it, we must fire them. Character that is borrowed is very costly. You want to behave like Shakira. Say, I want to dance like Shakira. You. You will break your rib. No, I want to dress. I want to dress. I want to dress. I... Don't dress what you don't have. Write this. Write this. Whatever God cannot do, may he never do it. <laughs> right. Whatever God cannot do it, may he never do it. And wherever God cannot take you, may you never reach there.
borrowed character, you will see your child. You will see your child. That's the reason you parents, you must be very, very strict when it comes to child raising. Children get destroyed when you are raising them up. If you are very, very calm, they'll be destroyed. You find your child will be taking a trousers, dropping it, and walking so majestically. Uh, how many months? If it's not, I've forgotten. I stopped him. I said, You, you must not drink too much milk. <laughs> he stopped drinking milk at a tender age. Why? Because I want to raise him the way I want. That's the reason if you look at men who are raised up so much on women, they end up behaving like a woman. You will see. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, what is your name? Trying to become what is not. The man has got no hips. He's busy walking like he has got big hips. <laughs> you will break yourself. telling you. This is what is happening. You find a gay. A man is very black. Very black with beards like a like a uh, like, like Shaka. Very dark. And he will put on hips borrowed character how can you as a man put on hip is it uh, 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 how do you call it spaghetti <laughs> how can you do that huh? a man to put on a, a browse eh? the chest flat And he goes to the market to go and buy. And he's walking majestically. What is the problem with you? People that were not raised up, people that have not defined who they are, they end up borrowing character, western character. Western character. In my country, in my country, when my son does something bad, I as a father, I have the right to bless him. <laughs> Not here. Here you bless your own son. Poli your own son will call police. <laughs> Imagine, imagine. Okay, let's talk about the laws. The laws are very nice. They protect. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes the laws have destroyed our children. I have, I have a law in my house. 
My son cannot come around 7 p.m. in the night. He can't. And whenever he comes late, it's my house, not his house. Imagine you beat your son, your son takes a phone, and there are no numbers. They are, they are trained. They are trained at the school. They are trained. He said, when your dad decides to bless you, this is the number you must call. And now you are in court with your son. And your son is in a dock. In a dock. What did your father do? No, he beat me. He beat me. Where did he beat you? He beat me here. Look, there is no even a mark. <laughs> Borrowed character. Living, living a life that you can't maintain. Living a life that you can't control. Living a life that you can't control. Jesus. No, I want to sing like Celine Dion. You. <laughs> With your bad voice. The goodness with the anointing, it does not matter with the voice. I have a bad voice. But whenever I try to sing, even you, you cry with my bad voice. Oh, oh, this song is very nice. Why? The anointing used the bad voice to perfect it. So don't try to become what you are not. Don't try to preach. Don't try to preach. Don't try to preach like somebody. No. You be original. You know the goodness with my preaching? I, I want to show you something. You know the goodness with my preaching? You are not sad. You will never see me ministering to you. All of you are sad. My preaching is all about reality. It's a reality talk. I use the word of God. To bring your reality so that you can get sense. So it's not just about God who bless you. No, 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 no. That's the reason I talk about realities and some of you, you laugh. Why do you laugh? I'm original. If I give another person, if I give another person the microphone, I say, let him make you laugh. You'll be sad. Be original. Be original. Copy some characters that are good for you. And those that are not good, leave them. Right. Check out people that are very inspiring. Very inspiring. If they inspire you, dress like them. But look at their dressing. Is it all that good? How does it do the, the time? How is the hair? How is the walk? How is the talk? the lifestyle and, and get some things from them. Get some things from them. Get some things from them. I've been having a lot of men of God coming here. A lot of them coming. And some of them, they are very famous. They are on TV stations. I've been meeting them here. They've been following me. And one of the things, when I sit them down, when I sit down with them, even today we had one. When I sit them down, when I talk to them, they say, you know what? Every time when we look at you, we just see a unique person. It's a new breed of a prophetic. It's a new breed. This one we've never seen. But this one is a new breed of the prophetic. But how did I reach here? It's because... There were some people that go, went ahead of me. I took some things that are good. Those that are bad, I left it. That's how to save a man of God. Those that are good, take. Those that are bad, leave them. Don't walk like, like Tupac. Yeah. 
Hey, are you lame? Are you lame? Maybe the, the maybe the reason why he was he was walking like maybe they shot him. <laughs> maybe they shot him. So he was limping, so he made it to be like a what? <laughs> like a style. Ba! Ba! Huh? <laughs> you don't know. Maybe he was limping. He was doing like so. <laughs> Some children saw it. Also, they began to walk like that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Whenever you are influential, whenever you are very influential, that's the reason. Any mistake that I can do, it is very easy for you to take it. Are you listening? That's the reason. If you want to see the real father, he will rebuke you. Whenever you make a mistake, he will rebuke you. He will rebuke you. There are, okay, okay. There are two kinds of fathers. Number one, there is a father who always praises you. Ah, you, you are good. Ah, you know what? And there is another father. Whenever you meet him, it's like you have, you have met rebuke in person. He will rebuke you. No, you don't do this. This is not the way you live. And such kind of fathers, there are so much hate. You know, the moment I begin to celebrate you, my son, that's the reason, even if when you send me a message, Dad, I've done this, I'll tell you. No. It's not done like this. Because I, know, I don't want you to be comfortable. I don't want you to be comfortable of where you are. Because when I tell you that that thing is not done like that, you are going to look for something different. But if I begin to praise you, oh, you know, you, you okay, everything is okay. You will think that you are the best. So I put you on a certain level where you must press on to search more, to look, to look for new things. Praise God. Tell about character. character. Tell about character. character. Remaining nine minutes for me to finish. Where is your talent? Where is your gift? You continue celebrating other people's design. Design. No, you know, I love the hairstyle. Where is your design? Even the hairstyle that you are, you are, you are, is on your head. It's a borrowed one. It's true. It's true. It's true. You saw it on the television. And they say, I will do this one. True of us. Hey, true of us. <laughs> true of us. True. <laughs> You just saw it from somebody. Somebody was walking on the street. You'd be like, my Jesus. But like this one, my husband must give me money. I must do this one. And after doing that one that you saw, another week as you are walking in the street, you see another one with Shangxi from China. Be like, this one is good. Even your hairstyle that you're doing, you saw it some, from somewhere. You can't argue about that. You can't argue. So, in your life, there's somebody that you follow. There's somebody that you follow. Do you think the way I dress, there's nobody that I follow? Or maybe I just wake up, just dress anyhow. Even the colors, I know how to mix. Because also, I go somewhere. you what is good for me what is good for me I take it I take it that's the reason every time when you see me appearing here I'm classic I'm smart I'm are you listening determined by you <laughs> 
a big drive. <laughs> because if anything happens, me, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Telling you. So I was, you know, I was exposed to speed, you know. I love, you know, I love these cars which have speed. I love speed. At, at one time, I drove from here to Pretoria in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I was in Pretoria. Bah! And I said, wow, speed. <laughs> Say, wow, me, I'm celebrating. Not knowing that the character that I was imparted with, if I'm not careful, it will kill me. There's somebody that said that speed does not kill. But speed makes you reach faster. Speed, speed does not what? It makes you reach faster. Okay, if you want to reach your destination very fast, what do you do? Huh? Ah, you speed, isn't it? Yes. So your speeding makes you to reach faster. But what kills you along your speeding is careless driving. Drinking. While you're what? Driving. So I've been imparted. That's the reason now you know, when I got married, when I got married, I began to reduce now because I have now a son. I have a wife. Now my consciousness now is coming up. Now I say, mm, he here. Mm. Are you listening? Now my consciousness is coming up. I have a son. He must live long. I have a wife. She must live long. So how am I going to do? When I'm driving, I'm driving carefully now. With all my concentration there. Because now I know that I have a family. That's the reason most of you, when you are single, you drive carelessly because there's no one. <laughs> there's no one. There's no one. You even say, ah, even if me, I die. Ah, it's okay. But for me, never. That's the reason I don't need to die. I must live long because there are others that are waiting for me. So now you must be conscious now. You have a farm. Even when you are driving. Even when you are eating. Be conscious. One time, I had these guys. You know, I was raised up in a family where when you are eating, you eat in a group. In one in in one plate, but I had I had the story that uncle of mine Jesus ah. oh Jesus thank you for delivering me that uncle of mine was dangerous He can go anywhere. And the time when those women, they are
preparing food. They'll be saying it <laughs> in their own heart. <laughs> like, oh, this guy, <laughs> today, he's not there. We are going to sting him. As they are just removing food from the, from the stove, the man has appeared. <laughs> That man is like he was a prophet of pap. <laughs> he could smell it from a distance. So one day they put food. I'm telling you, hot. You know, you know. Uh, uh, <sighs> they put pap, hot one. And lavish with chili. And they put it on one plate. And we are ten guys. And I was the youngest. I was the youngest. So there was a lefari. It was like a match. <laughs> we started eating. Eating. Lo behold, I saw my uncle's hand <laughs> coming from behind me <laughs> like a shovel. <laughs> it picked half of the pup. <laughs> half, half of the pup. So looking at this hand, since my concentration has been diverted, as my eyes came back, I find the whole pup disappear. I began crying. I began crying. Now, get, get something here. So, I, I want to show you something. So, I knew that these guys they were fast eaters. They were very fast at eating. And you know me, I'm, I was very, very slow. But because I was with them, <laughs> even me, <laughs> even me, because now I knew that if I don't eat fast, these guys, they will finish everything. So even me now, I became very, 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 very fast. Watch your surrounding. Rise up on your feet. Put your two hands for Jesus. Put your two hands for Jesus. We are done. Clap your hands. I will never forget. They made me to be very fast. These guys were dangerous. They were like machines. I said, what is happening here? And that pup, you are eating it around, around 23. Hmm? So you are eating for two days. I've gone through things. The Lord has delivered me. The Lord has been good. The Lord has been my shield. Why am I telling you about character? It is your obligation for you to build it. The Bible says, beloved, building up yourself. Building up yourself. God wants you to build your character. That good character. Continue to build it. The character of giving. Continue building it. The character of prayer, continue building it. The character of commitment, continue building it. The character of fearing the Lord, continue building it. The character of loving the Lord with all your heart, continue building it. God wants you to build it. God wants you to love him. God wants you to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, 
and with all your might. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, build a character in me that will not disobey you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the character of prayer in me is built up. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree and declare that the character of prayer, the character of the spirit of the fear of the Lord, it is restored in me, in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands, begin to pray for the character of the Holy Spirit. Pray, lift your hands. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Pray for the character of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Heal, heal me, oh Lord, and I will be healed. In Jesus' name. Take your left hand. Put it on your heart. And your right, lift it up. Some of you need to be healed from some certain characters. You need to divorce some certain things. You need to divorce some certain things. Just pray in tongues. 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 Shh. Pray. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. You are the one I say. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. You are the one I save. Come on, let's sing along. One, two, three, go. Heal me, O Lord. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. You are the one I said. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. You are the one. I say, lift up your hands, just pray in tongues. Masuta hika razata rebo shata hida eka rozota ibrahadli kasota ibrahadli katozita mandala ibrahadli kosha tali ibrahadli kasota rikata imando la hida la sota ibrahadli kosha rita dali kabradi ne dina hoso pata la kira badlina li rasota imando la kira ibrahadli kasota lira rashita imato la ika rozote rebo nalina. 
Mandalira, Pahina, also part of the Karazatela. Heal me, O oh Lord. Heal me, O oh Lord. And I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O oh Lord. And I will be healed. You are the one I see. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands. Lord, say amen. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I destroy every bad character. Amen. I destroy every bad character. Amen. Every evil character in anyone here, I destroy it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I call every good character to manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Characters of loving God. Amen. Characters of praying. Amen. Characters of fasting. Amen. Characters of giving. Amen. Every evil character that contradicts a good character, that evil character catches fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for my sons. I pray for my daughter. I declare the character of the Holy Spirit is restored over them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They shall grow stronger and stronger and stronger. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every evil character that makes them to compromise the power of the Holy Spirit, it is destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. That seed of greatness in them, let it manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No one shall grow weaker. Amen. They shall grow stronger. Amen. They will grow in prayer. Amen. They will grow in giving. Amen. They will grow in attenders. Amen. They will grow in commitment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for them as their father. Amen. I decree and declare. Amen. Every generational character. Amen. The character of demons. Amen. The character of ancestors. Amen. The character of failure. Amen. The character of limitation. Amen. They will look for it and they will never see it anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is making a way for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Even in your crying, the Lord shall wipe away your tears. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Even when men say it is over, God is going to take over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I intercede for you. Amen. For your children. Amen. For your house. Amen. For your business. Amen. For your family. Amen. The character of Jesus Christ. Amen. Will abide in your house. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Take your right hand, put it upon your head. Say above only. Above only. And never beneath. And never beneath. The head only. The head only. And never the tail. And never the tail. I am wiser. I am wiser. Than anybody. I never did. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look into your hands. Look into your hands. Say in my hands. In my hands. And miracles. And miracles. And miracles. And miracles. Signs. Signs. And wonders. And wonders. Whatever. Whatever. I shall touch. I shall touch. It shall be blessed. It shall be blessed. It shall multiply. It shall multiply. I receive. I receive. The courage. The character of multiplication, of multiplication in my business, in my business, in my family, in my family, in my ministry, in my ministry, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift
lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greet somebody, tell them you have received. And uh, don't forget, don't forget to keep a good character. You have received. Don't forget to keep a good character. Don't forget to keep good friends. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to give. Don't forget to come to church. Don't forget to pray for your pastor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your two hands if you have been blessed. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your seats in the heavenly places. Once again, all those that are watching us on, uh, on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. my viewers I'd love to invite you for this coming Sunday join me God will bless you Amen. God will touch you Amen. come with your documents if you are having debts come with your documents I'll pray for them remember it is an anointing Sunday it's an anointing Sunday so be my guest this coming Sunday and uh, God will bless you Amen. God will touch you Amen. and all those who want to come for international visitors program <coughs> international visitors program you will check on uh, DDTV Africa just take the numbers the numbers and uh, give us a call register for international visitors program praise God in this program in this program is a program where I meet various people with different kind of problems praise God so be my guest and I want you to know that for the international visitors, we have changed everything. Praise God. We have changed everything. This time when you are coming, you will find new things. And uh, you will find new structures. So we are ready to receive you. If you are in Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, Tanzania, Nigeria, uh, uh, Ethiopia. Join and register for the International Visitors Program. I'm prepared to meet you, to pray for you. Invest in your spiritual life and you will see that your spiritual life will be growing. There are most of you, the reason why you are not growing is because you don't have time to invest in your spiritual life. So this program has been designed for you. So be my guest and God will bless you. Around... Uh, 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 8 is it 8 p.m. What is the time? What is the time? Okay. Around, I think around half past eight, I'll be live on DDTV Africa. So, some of you I'll be able to talk to you, I'll be able to pray for you, I'll be able to declare God's grace. What I wanted to do, share, share about DDTV. Tell your friends that DDTV Africa is on. Tell your friends. There are some people they don't know even DDTV uh, uh, Africa is back. They don't know. So tell your friends. Send them a message. Let them watch so that they can be blessed. Praise God. May the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Put your two hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. There are some signs.